I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. Wednesday is Mistake Day and the other day I found a mistake on a sign here in Acadia. So today I went back to take a photo of the sign but I completely forgot where the building was so you're just going to have to take my word for it that there was actually a sign like that. The mistake was this. Thank you was written with a hyphen. I thought it was pretty funny because I don't think I've ever seen it written with a hyphen before. That's not a common mistake, as far as I know, but people often make mistakes with hyphens, including me. I don't think I've ever written thank you with a hyphen, but I've made other mistakes. On the Daily English Show once, I wrote no one with a hyphen. No one has no hyphen. Recently, I discovered something interesting about hyphens. I've been doing some work sub-editing for a magazine called Scene, which is made in Germany. So the writers are all German and their English is excellent and their writing is good but their first language is German so sometimes they make some odd mistakes. Well odd to me because I don't speak German so sometimes I think why on earth would you write something like that? And then I ask them and they say oh that's how it's written in German so that's where the mistake comes from. So it's really interesting. And in German they seem to use a lot of hyphens in places that we don't in English. So when I'm checking the writing I come across a lot of random hyphens. Anyway, when should you use hyphens? Well, I'd recommend taking a look at the Wikipedia section on hyphens. They have some examples of usage there. And some very interesting things to note, like this. A definitive collection of hyphen rules does not exist. Therefore, the writer or editor should consult a manual of style or dictionary of his or her preference, particularly for the country in which he or she is writing. One example of hyphen use that depends on the country is coworker. This is also from Wikipedia. The use of the hyphen has, in general, been steadily declining, both in popular writing and in scholarly journals. So whether or not you use a hyphen is sometimes just up to you. And if you're writing for an academic institution or a publication, then you should check what the style is. I tend not to use hyphens if there's no possible confusion. But sometimes there is a possibility of misunderstanding, so it's better to use a hyphen. For example, American football player. If there's no hyphen, you could be talking about a football player who is American, or you could be talking about a football player who plays American football. If in doubt about hyphens, just check or ask somebody. Sometimes if I'm not sure about grammar or spelling, I just type something into Google, and then if it's wrong, it'll come up do you mean such and such. That's not a perfect system, but it can help. And of course with things like goodbye, no one, thank you, they never take hyphens and you just have to remember that. Kia ora, in stick news today, the Prime Minister of Japan has announced he will resign. On the 26th of September 2006, Shinzo Abe became the Prime Minister of Japan. Now, less than a year later, he has decided to quit. Kyoto News quoted Abe as saying, Under the current situation, it has become difficult for me to secure the people's support and trust to vigorously implement policies. The Chief Cabinet Secretary said that Abe's health was also a reason behind his resignation. The Liberal Democratic Party will now hold a party presidential election to replace Abe. Kyoto News says LDP Secretary General Taro Aso is seen as a major contender. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 12th of September. Kia ora. Where are you staying? What are your hosts like? What does she do? Cool, the food must be good. Is it close to the university? We're doing a homestay. Great, we're staying with a woman and her two sons. She's a yoga teacher and a chef. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like the perfect place to stay. She's really nice, amazing food, and the bedroom's massive. It's like twice the size of my entire apartment in Tokyo. Yeah, it's pretty close. It takes about 25 minutes door to door. 
That's without carrying stuff. If we're carrying equipment, it takes a bit longer. Which is correct? Please remove your shoes. Thank you. B. No one was at home. A. Nobody said anything. A. Goodbye. B. She is five years old. A. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.